اشرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد with education being one of our most effective projects, Al Khair School's primary aim is to achieve excellence in education for our students within a cultivating, caring and secure Islamic environment. Working hard to create an atmosphere where students live their Islam by showing respect and kindness to one another, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. Today, Imam Qasim will introduce us to a new development in this particular project, giving us a full tour of this new venture within the education wing in the UK. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Alhamdulillah, we are at our uh, long awaited uh, disclosure location uh, that is our primary school in Birmingham, which is starting inshallah in September this year, September 2013. Um, the school is going through um, renovation work and laying out the classroom and this and that. I have with me Sister Almas, uh, who is uh, head teacher of our primary school in Croydon. Uh, Sister Aisha, head teacher of our uh, secondary school uh, in Croydon, uh, boys' school and girls' school, mashallah. And I'll be showing them around. And also Brother Huzaifa with me, who is um, uh, administrator of the school. And he is looking after all the plans of this site in Birmingham. We are in Oldbury area, postcode is B68-8LA and um, this is Oak Green uh, Road here and inshallah I'll show you uh, uh, the location. Imam Qasim explains to the principals of the Al Khair school and also the school manager about his visions for the total area of the new project. The school's entrance boasts a private road reducing congestion on the public roads at the entrance. There are also over two acres of land at Al Khair's disposal. One acre consists of the private road and the building itself, while beyond the fence lies over an acre of land, a majority of which will provide a playing and activity space in abundance for the children. Imam Qasim describes that upon removal of the fences, the area will be utilized for car parking and extended playing fields for the children. The beauty of this site is, mashallah, we have to, uh, just over two acre uh, plot. Uh, one acre is basically this road, uh, the playing field uh, and the building. And one acre is behind this f fence, um, which is basically not tidy area at the moment. But inshallah, we can level it uh, later on. And um, I think once uh, this is properly, it will be like little mountain type of hilly type of play area where kids run up and down and all those things. Aside from the main entrance and private road, the institute can also be accessed from the back, which is connected to the main road by an alleyway. The existing space in the front of the building already has 15 to 20 car parking spaces. As soon as you come here, this is the original car park, which um, I think if you, you look up all the way up to there, it's already for about 15 to 20 cars uh, can be accommodated uh, from here. And those are uh, two uh, parking areas for uh, disabled badge holders. And then behind that also there is uh, some parking space. Previously, the building used to be a daycare center. This makes the current property an education center with existing planning permissions. Imam Qasim gives a tour of the interior of the building and gives us a detailed idea of the planning of the classrooms and usage. Um, as soon as we come here, uh, there is this quite big room, very large here, um, which is equal to two classrooms. This is going to be IT uh, and uh, arts and library. This is going to be a nice, uh, reasonable size year one uh, classroom and um, after that uh, 
we got in, we we will get rid of this um, basically whatever I think there used to be washroom here so we will make nice open classroom so for example this is year two classroom this will go it will become part of classroom there will be partition here uh, this will be uh, year three classroom again uh, this will go there will be partition here so it's a straight classroom and then uh, this one uh, square uh, year four uh, classroom we're going to get rid of um, uh, this partition area and this will become one classroom which I think will be like year six classroom this one will be um, open hall um, which will be dining area for children the building will also house a recording TV studio and events hall which will be used for special events and also after school hours for broadcast recordings this room uh, will be used as assembly hall as function room um, if someone wants to do any event here Al Khair Foundation is registered for civil marriages. Uh, possibly we can extend that here if we want to conduct any nikah uh, and civil marriage board together. If we want to record any shows, any programs, so it will be television studio also, which will be used only after school hours, uh, unless children recording any program. We can also see in the future where the toilets and wudu area will be placed. The back area also has a purpose-built weather shade, which will provide protection from rain and snow during the colder seasons. If required in the future, the same area can also be used for extending classrooms. There are also dedicated porter cabins, consisting of three rooms and double glazed windows, which can be used as offices or study rooms. Right, uh, so now we are in porter cabin, which uh, have been here from before. These are three porter cabins uh, combined into one. So you see, mashallah, these size of uh, small rooms here. There are three rooms on this side. Uh, we can extend them and convert them into two rooms, or it can be open plan. Uh, as it is, I see this as complete ready. Imam Qasim then briefly reviews the plans with the principals and the manager of the school, followed by an appeal to the supporters of Al Khair and the community of Birmingham, expressing different ways to donate towards this extremely beneficial project for our youth. Now, what I would request people is that, uh, Alhamdulillah, we have acquired these premises and um, we will be doing all this work, inshallah. Uh, some of it which has already started. When we got the building, at that time there were already rooms, so we have broken those uh, partition boards already. Um, uh, we have done quite a lot of um, groundwork on it, inshallah. What I need uh, from the uh, community of Birmingham, surrounding area, and maybe from UK and Europe community, is to support us um, in two ways, or perhaps more than two ways, inshallah. Uh, one is, I want you to become founding member of this school. Uh, if, inshallah, uh, you donate, um, you can say a good amount I'm expecting from you, ideally £5,000, £10,000 each. Anybody who donates £5,000 will become, inshallah, founding member of this. Here, there will be like a fountain, inshallah, we will put founding members' names here. Um, and, uh, uh, inshallah, when people come, uh, not for show off, but uh, for appreciation from our side and to request for dua uh, from people that uh, these are the people who uh, were founding members. Now, uh, if you look at it, mashallah, any project which starts, alhamdulillah, it goes for not months or years, but it goes for decades and possibly for centuries, inshallah. Um, so, it's new establishment in Birmingham. Those founding members here, uh, will receive reward for lifetime inshallah every single student who study here obviously they are studying national curriculum education without within islamic uh, within islamic uh, framework islamic environment uh, without compromising uh, on either side so they will get inshallah full reward so meri tamam logo se guzarish hai ki jo birmingham aur iske aas pass ke ilaqe ke hain 
कि अगर आप इस प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर पाँच हज़ार पाउंड डालते हैं पाँच हज़ार दस हज़ार आपकी तरफ से आपकी फैमिली की तरफ से तो इन ये प्रोजेक्ट हमारे लिए इस्टेब्लिश करना आसान हो जाएगा हम ऑलरेडी कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि इस स्कूल को जो हमारी कोराडन की फ़ीस है स्कूल की उससे कम फ़ीस रखें यहाँ पर दूसरा तरीका इसको सपोर्ट करने का ये है कि ऑब्वियसली आप अपने बच्चों को यहाँ पर दाखिल कराएं अगेन दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु जॉइन इन दिस ईयर दे आर फाउंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो यू कैन बी फाउंडिंग पेरेंट्स यू कैन बी फाउंडिंग मेम्बर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ डोनर्स यू कैन बी फाउंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स पीपल्स चिल्ड्रन um is win win uh, situation for all and i am really 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 excited about this i don't think we were ex- so excited uh, when we established croydon uh, because we didn't had this such a wonderful uh, facility uh, in fact uh, we were talking about it earlier and we feel kind of jealous <laughs> that uh, we don't have similar activities in london uh, or similar facilities uh, in london area so uh, mashallah i mean you can donate any amount for this even if you want to donate 5 pound 10 pound alhamdulillah that's uh, excellent mashallah you can uh, donate for birmingham uh, school or birmingham educational project uh, the fees of this school will be still higher uh, than other birmingham schools because of the standard of education uh, we would like to maintain uh we want to have good quality education good quality staff uh good quality facilities all you, you have seen here mashallah so the fees will not be uh, i would say very nominal fee it will be still uh, slightly maybe higher than other uh, islamic schools in birmingham uh, but inshallah uh through fees or through donations your support uh, will continue inshallah and if founding members if we receive let's say 100 founding members for example uh, then inshallah that reduces a lot of burden from us and um, if it in goes ahead well inshallah then we can reduce uh, the expectation of fees uh, and so on um, i would say that uh, in terms of uh, setting up this project is charity work but in terms of running this project we cannot run it on the basis of purely donation so therefore there needs to be combination of both uh, school fees uh, as well as donation but for setting up we can't set up with the fee income um, even in 10 years uh, the fee income whatever will come what even little bit if we try to save each year is still in 10 years we will not be able to pay for this building or like that so setting up has to be purely donation running uh, of the school has to be mainly uh, fees but partially donation inshallah uh, jazakumullah khair in this those parents who would like to start in september this year they contact us today on 02086286664 uh, which is separate number from al khair foundation is for our primary school secondary school in uh, croydon you contact on that number you can email us at uh, admin@alkhair.org.uk uh, you can visit our website www.alkhair.org and click education section or you can go directly to educational website to donate you you know very well mashallah you can donate through our call center 02070847199 uh, or you can donate into any branch of islamic bank of britain um, of uh, and mention al khair foundation you can go into hsbc bank and donate to account number 41424394 and uh, sort code 404415 you can donate uh, through bank transfer uh, you can donate by check uh, posted to our al khair address um, inshallah once we have uh, presence here uh, staff members here then you will be able to come in and donate here also inshallah you can donate through justgiving.com forward slash schools or justgiving.com forward slash aid or you can donate through charitygiving.co.uk forward slash help and uh, you can donate for this uh, in form of cash you can donate in form of services in your time uh, 
you can be volunteer for this. So these are the two main ways to support. One is to bring your children here, which I think we already uh, are reaching to quite high capacity and we are already worried how we're going to accommodate everybody because already before even mentioning the address, the location, the plans, nothing. Before that, we already have almost 100 children um, or 100 families, I would say, who are interested in it, inshallah. Um, and uh, more important uh, at this stage is to become founding member of uh, this project of Al Khairi School in Birmingham in West Midland uh, in Oldbury area which is close to Bromwich area. The advantage of this school in terms of access, in terms of location is only one or two minutes from motorway. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is uh, well connected with Wolverhampton, with Walsall, with West Bromwich as well as uh, Bir Birmingham and surrounding areas. For us, even coming from London is quite easy access through motorway. So it's very nice location, it's nice, peaceful, quiet environment, alhamdulillah, everything. Third uh, and most important way of supporting us is to remember in your duas, inshallah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success in this project and keep all of us, the senior management, the staff members, the parents, the children here, and all the donors and supporters, founding members and everybody sincere, committed and dedicated towards this project, inshallah. Inshallah, we hope that through this project we will have ambassadors of Islam and Muslims uh, coming out from here and uh, inshallah it will be definitely success and I really want you to be part of it. One more thing I would request, we need volunteers as soon as possible. If you are an electrician, we need you here. If you are a gardener, you know, there's a lot of work to be done and we have uh, very little time. Inshallah, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with your support, we will be able to complete. But we need many, many volunteers here. Um, renovation and if there is construction company who would like to uh, donate some of their services, uh, that will be excellent. Central heating, um, electrical, uh, uh, flooring, uh, roof, uh, and um, gardening um, and painting decoration uh, as any DIY type of work um, as well as basically teachers uh, we don't want to uh, basically keep teachers on volunteer basis because we want commitment so teachers will be teaching staff will be uh, definitely uh, our paint, uh, paid staff members but we can have support staff uh, support um, uh, administrator or support teaching staff and so on um, like a dinner lady um, and also for uh, classroom assistants and um, also when uh, children coming in mm. to receive them and security and all those things a lot can be done and in Birmingham mashallah there is very good community uh, who have mashallah a lot of baraka in their time uh, you have a lot of free time inshallah so whichever way you can support, you have to be, inshallah, excited about it and uh, be part of it, inshallah. And this school is open for everyone, inshallah, uh, without any restriction, without any boundary, without any condition. Um, is basically our shared responsibility and is our shared project and it will be, inshallah, our shared success, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.